Hello dear friends, in trick number 418, I am going to tell you an amazing shortcut for an important profit and loss problem. Now the statement of the problem is written here and this is a very common problem in competitive exams. So you need to know the shortcut because the traditional method in this question is bound to consume at least 45 seconds to 1 minute time if you are well aware of the actual method which you have to use. So, in competitive exams, traditional methods are hardly used because they consume a lot of time. So, we are going to solve this using a shortcut and try to solve this question in just 5 to 6 seconds time, that too without use of pen and paper. So, the question goes like this By selling an item for rupees 24, a man gets profit percent equal to cost price of the item so we need to find the cost price so selling price is given and the condition which is given is that the profit percent is numerically equal to the cost price like if the cost price of the item is rupees 10 then the person is getting 10 percent profit or if the cost price of the item is rupees 65 then the person is getting 65 percent profit so both are equal now we need to find the cost price. Now see the selling price given here is rupees 24. So we just need to look at this number 24 and we will have our answer. Traditional method you will be using the formula for selling price and then obviously there will be long calculation but what you need to do here, we are going to use this shortcut now. For this type of question, you just need to split this 24 into two factors. So 24 is to be split into two factors, obviously whose product is 24. But how to write those two factors? Those two factors should have a difference of 10. So you have to just think of two numbers whose product is 24 and whose difference is always 10. So what are the two numbers? If you make the factors of 24, you will find that 12 and 2. These are the two factors. 12 into 2 is 24. And what is the difference of 12 and 2, it is 10. So this is what and once you get these two numbers in your mind, your answer is there in the next step. So what is the trick? We need to find factors whose difference is 10. So 12 and 2. Now what is the smaller factor of these two? The smaller factor is 2, smaller factor is 2, just put a 0 in front of this and here you get your answer. This is the cost price of the item. You can test this using the traditional method and I am sure you will get the same answer by traditional method also but you will consume at least one minute to solve this question by traditional method only if you are thorough with that method. So let's have one or two more questions to practice this method. So in this question, here I have changed the cost price. Now earlier we had the, the selling price, sorry. So selling price here we took as 24 rupees. Now I have changed the selling price. The other statement remains the same. So profit percent is given equal to the cost price of the item and we need to find the cost price. So how to solve this? So 56 is to be divided into two factors whose difference is 10. So this is the shortcut, difference should be 10. So what are the factors? We have 14 and 4 because 14 into 4 is 56 and difference of 14 and 4 is 10. This is what we need to find out. Now what is the smaller factor? 4, 4 is 0, so rupees 40 is the 
cost price of the item. So how much time will you take doing this? Only time which you will consume is to find these two factors. Another question, the selling price is 144. Now you need to split 144 into two factors whose difference is 10. So we need two factors 18 and 8 because 18 into 8 is 144 and what is the smaller factor now? Smaller factor is 8, just put a 0, you get the value of the cost price. So I am sure students you must be amazed by these methods and knowledge of these methods will not only help you to improve your speed but also increase your overall efficiency of attempting the questions in competitive exams. But mind it, please use this only in competitive exams, not in lower classes where traditional methods are taught. You can always use these methods in lower classes for checking your answers, but not for getting marks in lower classes. So learn these methods and if you like the video, share it and subscribe the channel.